of course, the day I come to show you guys and there's no egg. And you know what? She's usually great about giving me an egg. I guess not today. This was the nest she made. Oh, I'm just kidding. Are you kidding me, you guys? <laughs> she thought she had me. Fresh duck egg. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I almost thought that was a lost cause. Today is like kind of almost over. Actually not though, it's evening time, but Earlier today, I drove a total of two hours to go get chicks because you can't even get chicks local in my area anymore because there's not many places that actually carry them. And then now with like everybody wanting chicks, it's like almost impossible. So I actually had to drive um, two hours today to go get some chicks. So I filmed all that, so I'm gonna show you that. But we're basically just vlogging it out today. I have a couple things to update you on that have changed at the farm, so. Pretty cool, but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys that footage first from earlier because we switched around some chicks, all that. Anyways, but we are gonna be incubating some of my duck's eggs today, so that's really cool. So obviously wait to the end of the video because we are setting that up and hopefully that works and we can hatch out some duck eggs. So if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are excited to watch this vlog, make sure you leave this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. Are you checking out this cage? Don't go in there, it's not yours. <laughs> Anyways, so guys, to update really quick, we've officially named the kitty and we have named her Monster. And she got spayed the other day, so she will only be in this cage for a couple more days. So these are the two chicks that the mom was laying on. They're now moving to this crate and I'll put their water in when we get to the coop, but we're gonna move them to the coop and then the new chicks will go in here. Oh no. Okay. Alright, we got one. Crazy! I know. Okay. So I think this one is a rooster. And I think this one's a female. As you guys can see, the comb's a lot more red on this one. So kind of cool, we got one of each. Woohoo! Alright, don't be crying, babies. Here you go. New more area. There! Lovely! So we always move them into bigger cages when they're bigger, but they can't go in a cage of this size when they're smaller because the holes in these crates, they will uh, jump right through. So I put the babies in here. I also put Petrolina in here because she was broody. And then we took her out because her chicks got big. So I'm kind of trying to see if she's gonna accept these chicks, which will make the call. No, it's trying to squeeze through. We'll make the call in like literally a couple minutes to see how Petrolina acts with them because the babies are getting pretty cold since my drive was kind of long. But these ones right here are my two Rhode Islands. Then that one back there and this one right here are my Bide Rocks. And then that's my Blue Sapphire. Well, it's a blue production, so we'll see what it is. But anyways, this is what's happening. Hopefully she does this because that would be great. And we don't have to put a heating pad in here, but she might not want to, so we'll see. Petra, do you want to be a mom again or not? The hen did not work out, which is fine. All the babies, I don't think you guys can see them, maybe you can, are underneath the heating pad, so that's good. We got a little chick butt right there. I've got these cute chicks, <laughs> so adorable, in the back of the ranger, and I'm gonna drive them over to the coop. They are ready. had to stop what I was doing. Look how cute you guys are. Look at all these cute, sweet faces and <laughs> muddy noses. So sweet. They're all getting along really good lately. So that's good. Dirty little nose, I'll tell you what. Such a dirty nose. We still haven't closed up this extra stall yet. They still can go over here, but we will be closing it up soon. But give some more area to roam. Chicks are out. It's time to bring them to the coop. To grow old with the others. They still have like a good while to be in the coop before we actually let them out because they're still pretty little. Okay, so they are set up. I just collected an egg here. Wait for it. Ready? It's in my pocket. There it is. 
So I got one egg, but Mike went over to get a shovel and a pitchfork because the water started to leak for some reason. So we have like a water spot right here. So I'm gonna shovel that up and then I'm gonna try to clean some of this a bit with the pitchfork. So he's gonna go over and get that. And then they'll be pretty much set up in here. I cannot believe how bad the wind is today. It's so windy. All right, chicks are set up good. Clean this the best that I could, um, but could be better. I don't know if I love the sifting power of this bedding, but it'll do for now. Maybe I'll switch it up next time, but for now, looks all right. Little update over here in this pasture. You guys always ask what the manure looks like when we throw it out of the window. I know it's not everyone's favorite thing that I do that, but this is what it looks like. It's not a big deal. We always grade it out. Nothing really happens. There's no extra flies because we grade it out into the ground. It acts like a perfect like compost for the ground to help grow grass. There was actually so much grass growing here just a bit ago, but unfortunately, and fortunately, it's all dirt right now because as you guys know, for the past couple years that we've lived at this farm, that this pasture floods every year during the summer. So we finally um, splurged and got five loads of dirt and we leveled the pasture. Some areas, the pasture grew in height by like six inches. It looks really good. Obviously a little nerve wracking now because there's no grass. And then if the dirt goes all the way up to about where the pasture um, is higher over there. But we're hopeful that by the time summer comes, this will hopefully have had enough time to regrow its grass. I'm excited for what's to happen with this pasture. Look how pretty this sunset is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have not showed you. We took down all of the white fencing. It's all gone. There it is, right there. So our pastures aren't fenced at all right now. So now we're back to real time. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I want to hatch out these duck eggs. So like I showed you earlier, I was trying to see if my chicken was gonna be broody again. And if she was, I was gonna obviously let her take care of those chicks, which that didn't work. But bonus to that, I was gonna see if she would lay on these duck eggs for me. And I've already tried, I tried putting them in the hay, tried doing a multitude of things because I just love a natural incubation because it always just works. So here I am faced now having to incubate them with an incubator. And I have a nice incubator, but I let a friend use it got it back and I don't have the power plug anymore. So my other friend let me borrow her incubator. So I've never really used this incubator. So hopefully I can figure out how to use it, but let's um, get started on this. So these are the eggs that I have. Now this one's pretty old. This was like honestly one of the first duck eggs that I found in there. Cause it was kind of a surprise that she was actually laying eggs for me. So it's dirty. And I doubt this will even be viable, but I'm still gonna try it anyways. These ones I also don't really believe it will be viable anyways though. The ones that I'm pretty sure will be viable are these two. So I'm most excited about these. I'm actually gonna go check the coop and sh see if she has another egg for me. But this is the incubator that I'm using. It's like a smaller incubator. It's the magic fly. My friends have had major success with these. So hopefully it works. And then this is where you put your eggs and it kind of works with this like turner thing right there. But I really am not that up to date with how these are. And um, I don't have the instructions. So we're trying to Google it and figure this out. I know you gotta put some water in here or something of the sort. I don't know, Mike's on it, right Mike? Yep. He's figuring it out. So hopefully he can come up with something from his phone right there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go check the coop and see if we can get another duck egg because that'd be really cool. Also, speaking of ducks, um, we are planning on building a pond in the next week for the ducks. So if you guys wanna see that video, make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see a pond build video for my ducks, because it's gonna be really cool. We have it marked out in the back how big it's gonna be. So it's actually gonna be pretty much as big as our barn. Right now it's a 36 by 48 and that's the exact size of my barn. So pretty cool. So I will stop rambling and let's go check the coop for some duck eggs. I hope there's one because especially it'll have great success if I incubate it the day that I got it. So we'll see. She started to make like this nest type of thing. So hopefully she does well. Oh no, there's no egg for me today. Of course, the day I come to show you guys and there's no egg. And you know what? She's usually great about giving me an egg. I guess not today. This was the nest she made. Oh, I'm just kidding. Are you kidding me, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> she thought she had me fresh duck egg oh my gosh i'm so excited i almost thought that was a lost cause since i just collected that extra egg now i have six eggs so hopefully 
were successful at least in one of these. And I'm very curious to see what they're gonna look like. So incubator's here. We're gonna put some water in it now. And then we're gonna put this one down first. Then we put this one in and then we put this in. So we just have to make sure that it goes and slides. So I might need to adjust these since I'm doing duck eggs. So probably should do my most successful ones over here. And then maybe we'll do that. Let's see, this can roll. Let's put this one. What do we think? Does that look good? Okay. Those look rollable. Okay, great. And then we'll do these over here. These are my maybe not successful ones. Let's do that. Okay. All right, all those look like they can roll, don't you think? Okay, great. All right, so those are in. And then we have to take this and this prong right here has to go into here. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just gonna set this to 37.5 celsius and that's like 98 something like that maybe in fahrenheit so now we just wait until it reaches that and then it'll stay at that i really need to get like a um humidity meter so i'm gonna order one off amazon and i'll put it in here so hopefully over the first day it'll be fine so then i'll just keep having to refill this every other day but hopefully this gets up to where i need it to get and i'm gonna keep it in the tack room because this needs to stay somewhere that doesn't really have fluctuating temperatures so my tack room will be a good place for that and i think that would be good too because it's a little darker in there so maybe the humidity will be good in there so now we just wait for a while i don't really know how long like duck eggs actually incubate for so i will be looking that up but i do know that chick eggs are 21 days so probably start from there and we'll see hopefully it works and i'm like so intrigued what they're actually going to look like because one of my ducks looks like a standard mallard and the other one's like a blonde duck so we'll see i'm so excited for that but yeah we just did it we incubated my duck's eggs so that hopefully they will hatch out monster you keep making a mess of your area you want to come out and play this is how we play with her we always like let her out of her crate because obviously she doesn't really want to be in there the other day i actually lost her and she was in the grass and I was chasing after her to get her, but I got her. What are you doing, you giraffe? <laughs> Is this your buddy? I think he's became buddies with Monster. But she should be able to go out into the wild in the next couple days. We're just waiting on her wounds to heal. Let me show you her wounds. They shaved her cute little belly. There it is. Monster, show us. So there it is right there is her little tattoo to prove that she's been spayed because they wanted to clip her ear and i didn't want them to clip her ear so she gets a tattoo do you want attention <laughs> are you mad that we're giving monster attention and not you my whole crew is coming in now good little goat dinky the very fluffy winter donkey so slow all right, now where's everybody else? Come on, horses! Come on, Lulu! Be careful of the big, mean, bad mare. <laughs> She's mean, gosh. Watch out, Blaze, she'll get you. Look at her, she wants to get him. <laughs> Nobody that time, huh? A quick little update on Juni before I end this vlog. I wanted to talk to you guys about her eye. I don't think I've done an update in a long time but it's doing a lot better. Now she just goes to the vet every two weeks rather than every one week. Come here, Junie. Come here. And her eyes looking a lot better. It's not as like funky looking, but still it looks like that. I'll put the flash on in a minute. Hey, show us the other eye so you guys can really see. But the idea is for that spot to just keep getting smaller and smaller. They do believe that the infection is pretty much gone. It's just now we're still treating the spot. She's real antsy right now because Mike's giving hay out, but we are still treating it multiple times a day. So we're about to treat it and I'm gonna show you guys, I can't remember if I've showed you guys how we treat it these days, but tons of fun. So the medicines that we are giving her, this is a sorry excuse for medicines. This is one of the medicines. This is verconazole. This is like to fight fungus. 
This is atropine. Basically, this keeps her eye dilated. And then there's diclofenac, which we just ran out of. But we're about to actually run out of all of them. They're overnighting me more. So I will have more tomorrow. But the diclofenac is like a topical um, uh, pain reliever. But um, we are giving her banamine anyways still. We only give her banamine now once a day rather than twice a day. So we'll do that in her feed. But for now, we'll show you guys how we give her her eye meds. All right, Jimmy, back it up. We do the same thing every single day. She doesn't like it. She's not a huge fan. But this is how it goes. Good girl. Well, you're gonna hit your head there, Jimmy. All right, good job. A little bit of the cortisol. And then, uh-oh. Okay, that's enough. And that's how it goes. She always just like tilts her head to the side. It's like her thing, but it's done. We do this multiple times a day. We've graduated to not having to use the halter like we used to before for like the first couple months of having to do this. We always had to put the halter on her first, so it would just became more of a fiasco, but no halter girl now. She knows it a lot better now. So yeah, we're done for the night with her meds. We are literally about out. So I really need them to get here tomorrow because I do not want to skip a beat, especially with how we're, well we're recovering now. So this is the banamine, it's liquid banamine. So she gets five ML or five CC, whatever you wanna choose, a day. So that's dropped significantly because she used to be on 10 twice a day. So now she's on five just once a day. And it just goes in her feet and she never knows it's there. And that just takes the edge off. All right, you guys, well, I hope you liked hanging out with me for the, this very impromptu vlog of mostly all about baby chicks and hopefully some hatching duck chicks. I will be so excited. What are they called? Ducklings? Oh my gosh. We're gonna have little ducklings running around, hopefully to our brand new pond. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, you guys. Well, if you guys like today's video, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss the journey with my little duck eggs. And of course, make sure that you leave a comment before you leave this video so you have a chance to make a shout out. Today's shout out goes to... Are right, you guys, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.